What's going on everybody? Robbie here with Unknown Ventures and today I'm in Benton City, well, Old Benton City. This is actually where Lytle first began. But this is Benton City School. This was actually one of the first schools in South Texas that, um, if you're familiar with Lytle, Texas, this is where it all began. Right here in Benton City, not too far away from Lytle. Um, Unfortunately, you got graffiti all over the place. The place is falling down, as you know, anything from the 1800s, it's always the shell that stands out and uh, keeps together very well. This place was built in 1875. It was established in 1876. Lots of history here. Places run down. You can tell there was a second story, obviously, with all the windows. Some of the pillars are still intact. You got some of the pieces of wood right there. You can see carvings within the wall. From down here, you can see a few carvings down here. You'll see some numbers actually written right there. And then up above on the second level, you'll just see carvings of names, numbers, and just a bunch of other stuff. It was just a school for a very limited amount of people to be in this place and after the school was made people started migrating a little bit farther south and opened up the town called Lytle Texas now I know it may not seem like much but this little building has a lot of history and it tells you so much about these towns that we pass through every day even though it's one small building very little bit to cover um, it's still I'm just lucky that I actually have a chance to uh, get inside and walk into it. It's a shame that it is graffiti out, but look at all this right here. I didn't even see all this. There's just a lot more carvings into these walls from the late 1800s. You know, the shell is held together pretty well. Very big windows, thick rock. They're always usually about over a foot thick walls. All these buildings from the 1800s. I love it because that's why they're standing. If it wasn't for them making these walls so thick, we would have lost all of our history. It's supposed to have ghosts here. I mean, you're usually going to see and hear stories like that of places that are super old, uh, 1800s, any, anything that has history. It, there's always a story of some type of spiritual haunting. It feels good. There's positive energy. I get good vibes. Just finding the most craziest of cemeteries. So go ahead and let's check this out. Not being maintained very well, probably because it's so old and well, it's kind of forgotten. Wow. Incredible. Just incredible. I am just taken by this cemetery. Again, another one for the books. I've never been to a cemetery like this. This is obviously dated back from the 1800s. Eight years old. And it goes way back there. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm happy I brought my boots. Every time I see blue bonnets, that means there's always rattlesnakes out and about here in Texas. So... And they're not even high top boots, so I still am at risk. And the condition of some of these tombstones are just very immaculate. I mean, you can still read the fine print on these tombstones. Some are actually new. I mean, you've got yeah, you've got one over here that's fairly new-ish. The rock around this grave, Chapman, restored tombstone rocks. Ferris family. Now, I am still learning more and more each day, each week about cemeteries. I hear stories of why they have fences around these tombstones back in the old days. Well, they would put them around there because back in the day, a lot of people died of tuberculosis, aka TB. So if they died of a contagious disease, they fenced off the tombstones to give you fair warning that they had passed away from a rare infectious disease. 
And here I am walking off into the Amazon and I see this other little gated spot way, way over here by itself. Look at that. There's not a tombstone in sight. But it's gated off. Way far in the corner. Away from the rest of the cemetery. Okay, I was walking out and I saw this. This is almost, I don't know, too bizarre to look at. But... Maybe somebody, if you know exactly what I'm looking at, please leave it in the comments below. But here are two tombstones separated from everything, and I have not, I have not seen tombstones like this before. That is bizarre. Again, I've never seen nothing like that. I do my best not to step over these tombstones. It's a sign of respect. Do not step on the tombstones or over their graves. Gift, what is this? There's nothing. You can't even see anything. Definitely don't have a name, but definitely not forgotten. Well, if you guys enjoyed that video, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe. Because wherever I find an abandoned spot, if you leave them in the comments, I will go check it out. I don't just travel over South Texas. I will travel out of the state. My plan is to actually get out of the country. So, if this is stuff that you like, this is stuff that I love and I have a passion for. It. So, I want to go to more places like this. But this place right here has taken me. It's a great piece of history, and I'm just happy to have found it. Uh, got some access into it, and it seems like it's free to the public to get into. So, if you guys are in the area, check this out.